Hi, in this video you can see how Neo4j Graph Analytics can be run natively inside of Microsoft Fabric as a workload. In the Fabric user interface, I can pick from a set of different workloads. Let me pick the Neo4j one. Here, I can see more details about what this workload provides and what data sets it supports. Once I add this workload, it becomes available in my home workspace. In this view, I can open any existing graph data set, but let's create a new graph data set to see the experience. On creating, the first thing I need to do is pick which data I want to bring into this graph data set. I'll pick a lake house. Here I have the north wind data set available as a set of tables. I can pick and choose which tables I want, and then I can go ahead and transform that into a graph. We actually use LLM models in Azure OpenAI to transform the tabular structure into a graph model. Here you can see a graph of orders connected to products, products connected to categories, and so on and so forth. Now we can start exploring this data as a graph and seeing the nodes and relationships get returned from my data. Then I can visually explore it using on-screen tools. I can also use this interface to ask questions. In this example, I'm essentially using a natural language question, which orders contain ravioli? This question is converted using an Azure OpenAI LLM to the equivalent graph pattern. And then I can see the result and explore it further if I need. One thing that is really powerful about graphs is the ability to derive meaning from the connections in the graph. For example, I may want to know the most popular influential products in my graph. I can start with all the products. Then I can bring in all associated orders and other connections. Then I can run different graph algorithms in this graph. There are several I can choose. I will run the page rank, which basically gives me an influence score to all of my nodes. Now I can narrow back down only to the product nodes in the scene. Then I can apply color coding and sizing so that I can see the influential products in a larger size and a darker green color, which I can then visually rearrange to find the ones with the highest score. So what we've done here is taken tabular data from one lake, generate a graph structure from it, and then apply different graph techniques that Neo4j makes available. In particular, graph algorithms from Neo4j let us use the connections in the graph to look for nodes that are central or form different communities or are similar. Finally, I can save my analysis done in the graph data set back into one lake as a fresh data set, which can then be used for more workloads and workflows in Fabric. Thank you for watching.